Toxic chemicals may significantly raise the risk of cancer in every state in America. Our national investigative team worked with partners at ProPublica to look at hotspots where millions of Americans live, work, and go to school. For Fox 12, Lee Zurich has more, beginning with a place blamed for cancer deaths for years. How, how many people that live around you do you know who had cancer? My neighbor's husband here, my neighbor across, uh, across from her, down the street next, I mean, it, it's, it's so many. That list includes Lydia Gerard's husband, 67-year-old Walter Gerard, a carpenter and outdoorsman who loved to hunt, fish, and play golf. He died of kidney cancer after spending his entire life living in a place known as Cancer Alley, Louisiana. Why don't you move? I can't. The level of income is not conducive for me to move. Gerard lives in one of more than 1,000 hotspots our partners at ProPublica identified across the country, all on this map. A first of its kind analysis that finds for at least 250,000 Americans, air pollution from industrial plants is elevating the cancer risk to a level the federal government considers unacceptable. What's more, nearly 74 million are exposed to risk higher than what the EPA says it strives for. The EPA collects hazardous emissions data from every large industrial facility in the country. But when the EPA looks at risk, it doesn't take into account how the risks from these plants add up near your house or on your block. This map does that. The analysis finds hot spots in every state, but 20 stand out, the most toxic hot spots in the country. A quarter of these are in the state of Texas. The area around Port Arthur, Texas, has some of the nation's highest estimated increased cancer risks. In Port Neches, chemical plant towers are visible from an elementary school less than a mile away. One and a half miles in the other direction, children play at a park with metal structures looming, the same ones visible over the high school football field. The EPA has this data but hasn't analyzed it like this to see where the risk exceeds the rules. An EPA employee for three decades who oversaw this data for the federal government told our partners at ProPublica, they always told us don't make a big deal of it. They didn't want to make anything public that would raise questions about why the EPA hadn't done anything to regulate that facility. The EPA noted air toxics emissions nationwide declined drastically between 1990 and 2017 and says the EPA is focused on and committed to identifying and addressing existing, emerging and future air toxics issues in the United States. That's of little comfort to those who see this map with recent data showing toxic emissions, poison in the air. It hurts. It does. He, he's the one that got me into this fight. That was Lee Zurich reporting. To look up your own address on the map, you can go to investigatetv.com and click on Poison in the Air for a link to the map. Also, if you live near an industrial facility, you can fill out a form to help future reporting on this topic.